Thank you so much. God will bless you too for accepting it. Uh, Alosa, you wear medium, right? Yes. This is for you. This is for me? Yeah. Ah, thank you. And, uh, your shoe size uh, size 48. No, 38. Yeah, 38. 38, yes. And this is for you. Thank you, Papa. What about the others now? This leg. Yes. 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 Since yesterday, are not well kept. So I think something has to be done about it. No problem. I will call that boy that used to come and help us uh, uh, cut it to shape. Uh, you mean uh, okay? Yes, I'll, uh, I'll call you. The one that cuts flowers? Yes. Okay. You, you can see this one. I have this one. Yes, it's overgrown. I will see to it. That reminds me, I have not seen uh, Honest this morning. I'm sorry. Yes, I hope there's no problem. No, there's no problem at all. I told her to go and rest because of her injured leg. So I don't know. I see. Father! Father! Good morning. Good morning. How are you? I am fine. Father. Where are you coming from? I, I, I thought you said you, are, you said she go and rest because of her injured leg. I didn't send her anywhere. Mother, I thought you said I, I just should... said, did I send you anywhere? I asked you to go and rest because of your injured leg. Your problem is that you don't obey me in this house. Everything I say, you go contrary to it. Go and keep that uh, machete at the back. Open your mouth to, to talk nonsense. When I said go and rest. Before the leg, we turn into something else. I asked her to go and rest. But sometimes you should talk to this your stubborn daughter. Her own is getting too much. She doesn't listen to anybody. 
But you are supposed to be talking to her. You are her mother. Yes. Of course I'm talking to her. You two should talk to her. You are her father. You are the one that lives with them. What is mother up to? I don't understand. She was the one that woke me up this morning very early and said I should go to the farm and weed the place. So why, why, why is she denying it? Anyway, I'm not surprised. I saw she did behave. Only God knows what she won't tell her now. My husband, I am tired. I am tired of this place. I am bored. I don't know what you are doing here. I want to know what are your plans. Um, the plans has not changed. It remains the same. Like I told you earlier, I don't want us to leave this house and uh, go and start paying uh, rent to one man that calls himself landlord. But we we'll start answering tenants again after the encounter that brought us to this village. I understand what you're talking about. So what is the way forward? The contractor said uh, the house we are building has reached the lintel level. Mm -hmm. So uh, after which uh, they will start roofing the house, then wiring, painting, and other fittings will, uh, will take place. So That's a good one. Yeah. At least they're making progress, serious progress. And it's good. And uh, before I leave for the city, I will go see the contractor. You know, these people that engage in handbook, they are not reliable, so I can't rely on their, on their words. So I must go see things for myself. No problem, that's good. One more thing, I, I want you to go see your uncle before you leave. I heard this very nice. Yeah, I will do that this morning. I will go and say, please, I beg you. I don't want you to go there and start showing me off. I don't want you to go there because he's sick. You want to buy heaven and earth for them. I don't subscribe to that. I don't like it. Eh? If he complains things are hard for him, complain to him that things are harder for you. Eh? After all, he has children. Well, his children are not doing so well, you know that. Is he our fault? And that's why he's my uncle. No, is he our fault that his, that his children are not doing well? Is that, is that how is that our business? Are we the one that made the children not to do well? I must commend all of you for making this thing in this house. But, truth be told, I am not happy with your lifestyles, Boma and Buffy. It is so disrespectful that both of you are not behaving well. Especially you, as a woman, sleeping outside at this age. You should emulate your mother's lifestyle and that of your elder sister here. Mind you, we're in a small village. And eyes are seeing you, and tongues are wagging. You better change your lifestyle and turn a new leaf. I have talked and talked. I have told them the dangers of staying out late and even sleeping out of their, uh, 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 outside their family. Yes, they will not listen. I don't know how else to talk to these children. Now that you are here, please talk to them. Maybe they will hear your own. And uh, Boma, let me not come to this house again and see you put on such rag like you did the other day. You said it was fashion. I mean, the day you went to Auntie Fora's house. Let me not say it. You should emulate your mother. Your mother dresses differently. And that was what attracted me when I was working in a family in Anambra. And I got married to her. So change as a woman. It's okay, Papa. You need me that way. I'll do better. I'll change. Before I forget. Honey? Yes, Papa. I will transfer the sum of 400,000 into your account. Thank you. Sir. For your admission processing. Thank you. Sir. And uh, also, 
I will give all of you 50,000 naira each and make sure you use the money deliciously. And um, one more thing before I forget. Boma and Buffy, tell me what you want to do in future. Because I've not heard any of you talk about going to school since you left secondary school. Why are you looking at me? Once you answer the question, why are you looking at me? So why won't I look at you? Can you calm down? Why won't I look at you? Why must you look at me? Be careful, though. You be careful. Okay, I'll, 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 I'll slap you. Be careful. I'll slap Papa, you. Papa, warn your son. See, Mama, hold your daughter. I'll slap you now. Papa, warn your son. Warn your son. No. You talk for one thing now, eh? What will happen? Mom, what? I must confess, you're such a smooth criminal. <laughs> no, wait. What did I do this time? <laughs> Look at Mom. Why are you acting like you don't know what you did? No, I mean, Mom. Imagine how you deassociated yourself, claiming like you don't know what you do before that. Hi! This is one problem with you. <laughs> After taking all this nonsense, this is your ganja. You begin to yam nonsense. What is wrong with you? No, you expect me to open this in my mouth and tell your father that you have changed from a city thief to a village thief. And I'm aware of it. No, what? Let's start. And I should tell your father that I am allied to your sister's general merchandise of her body to all the men in this village and the outskirts. Mm. And mommy, bring your in voice village down. and outskirts. Mommy, bring Get your voice down. For from your annals that I should open my mouth with all confidence and tell your father that your sister is a general donor. Hi. That does not make me a protective mother. Mom, package your children now. Not package yourself first. You started it. Mommy, don't forget your hepatica in this way. Uh -huh. Then does that give me the impetus to open this in my mouth and tell your father that I am aware of your endeavors lifestyle? Do you know what it means Mommy. For, for a mother to, to, to protect her children and still be a good wife? Mommy, wait. Did you just call me Rendezvous? I am sorry. I, I guess that didn't come out well. But it, it, it's your brother who started it. Uh, because you two do not understand what it, what it cost me to protect my children and get to be a good Enough, wife. Enough, Mom! Ah! Please, let's go inside. Every time you're calling me Rendezvous, Rendezvous, you change your way. Every time, change, 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 change. Mama, hold on, Miss Ayah, for me. Okay. Mommy, you sent for me. Yes, I did. What was that course you told your father you wanted to study in the university? Loma. No. Thanks, Mom. That's very good. You know, I've not had time to go through that to your letter. 
us have been very busy. Can you bring those letters? Let me look at them. Oh, okay. Let me go and get them. Admission letter and for clearance. Okay, that's very good. <laughs> when you go to school, give them the pieces of these letters. They are mad. I am mommy. What will you show? Do I why are you want me? Do I look like that? Your stupid and worthless mother you want to go to school. You go to that school in your brain. Get out of here now! What do you do without these letters now? No, do you not exist? Go and kill yourself without the letters. Do I look like that's your stupid dead mother? Who did you have died and joined her in the grave? You are wasting your time living. You don't have no value. <laughs> <for you. laughs> <laughs> Hey, life is sweet when you do it well. Eh? Mm -hmm. So you mean you did that? Huh? I gave her bass notes. I made sure I turned those things, I turned those papers into shreds. That admission letter, that clearance letter, I shredded one by one. I finished everything. Let's go and present it to them as admission letter and a clearance list. Oh, yes. Mm, you happen very well. Hmm. What was that idiot thinking? Thinking you'd be on her side to talk money to the one that he gave her what? She wants to go to university with my beautiful daughter here. Yeah. Hmm. It's yet to even talk about going to school. That one did not pay me much. But the one that pained me, scattered my brain, is because she confirmed to me she told her daddy she wants to start. Wait, she wants to be a in laws or something. If she had been planning to go study, to be a banker or to be a nurse, it would have been easier. But this was she said she wants to go and study law. So she should be able to convert all your father's property into her own personal uh, uh, use. <laughs> what? Yes, you heard me. But even if she had wanted to study and drive her from that law, it would have worked in this house. <laughs> also, I wouldn't let her. Mm. Mom, you have done very well. You have done very well, but there's one thing you haven't done. But what is it that I should have done that I have not done? <laughs> Mommy, you told me that you gave her 400k. Yes. Fine. What is 400k still doing in the account of an imbecile like that? You have a point. But how do you give her the money from her account? No, 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 no. I don't know how to do it. <laughs> okay, I have a turn. Come closer, let me tell you. Eh? I should come closer. So you're not my mother. You and I who should come closer. So this training I'm trying to put in your head, you don't have it. Tell your stupid body and come here. Sorry. And tell you something. Oh, Nisaya. Oh, Nisaya. Oh, Nisaya. Mom. Ma, kill you there. You called me. Did you hear your name? Sorry, I was folding the clothes I just brought in. I'm sorry, ma. Sorry for yourself. You're very stupid. Did the clothes held your mouth that you couldn't use your mouth to answer me? No, ma'am. Sorry, ma. I was just folding them. Are you stupid or you're out of your mind? Between those rags you call clothes and mommy's call, which one is more important? Ask her. Ask her. I am sorry. Please forgive me. Where's your phone? It is inside. Go and bring it! Ma? I said go and bring it! Yeah. Well, let me go. Hey. Don't need to go now. Yeah. She disappeared with the phone. Even if she does, she will still come back to this house. So don't bother yourself. So you don't have to go out.
what you know how best to do. Uh, password. Please, for your password. What's your password? Take now. Uh. What are you trying to do? What's your password? What's your password before I give you the soundest slap on this earth. Are you deaf? Put your password. What's it? Okay, I don't want to put your password. Put your password! Boma, since she has refused to put the password, go and hit oil for me. In fact, to the highest sentiment. Okay, 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 okay. okay. I'll, I'll, I'll put the password. Your phone is open. I'm not going to shake her How much? Hey! 450,000 naira. What? And you and I don't have such amount in our account. I like everything. Do not leave a pin in that account. Yes, ah. Clear everything. Ah! Mommy, please, mommy, please, please. Don't please. That, that, that's not my personal money. It's the money that your daddy gave me for my school. Please, please. And you're not going to school again. Because I have done the admission letter and the clearance list. School for you is over. Mm -hmm. Go and drown yourself in the Was it like that? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Oh, oh, Bego. Mommy, don't do this to me. Should I give the phone? Mommy, please, I'm begging you. Do you know you are very wicked? Don't let me drag you. That's how. Mom, please, I don't like that. that, that I don't like tomorrow. Uh, I only believe in today. Give me my own share, please. I have something to do with one. Mofeni, what is your problem? What exactly is the color of your problem? I know you're ranting because you know there is money. Do you know how come about the plan? Huh? Uh, All this is you're doing is drugs. You just go and do it, go and do drugs. That's just it. Thank you, Doctor. Talk about the plan. I'm not doing asking for you. <laughs> um, um, mommy, the fact that I've not asked does not mean I won't ask you. Uh, it's just that I'm waiting for all these things to settle down first. <laughs> so I can get my share. <laughs> ah. Okay. Since she's the one that initiated the plan, as you both do, and why didn't she tell her to talk to her? That is about money. That's how you hold me. Oh my god, she. Mom, please give me money, please let me go out. No problem, I'll give you 50. 50 what? Mom, please, you can do better. Do it. <laughs> oh, mom, you're joking. <laughs> you're joking, right? What? Right. At least 100k each won't be bad uh -huh. now. <laughs> you're okay. not serious. Thank god I have that number. Hmm? Yeah. What do you have to do? Uh, first, you see. You two, see. You see. You see. 
Sultan Mehmet. Call your own. your tears. I brought a bucket to help you bail the water. I mean your tears. I mean you're not doing a good job. Cry. That's what sinners do. They cry. And listen to me. If you breathe this word to your father, if you ever tell your father what happened, I will bury you alive. <laughs> and if your spirit does otherwise, I will lock it up in a Fanta bottle and throw it into Orash River. <laughs> so your life is dependent on you. Anything that happens after now, you have yourself to be blamed. You have yourself to be blamed. The daughter of a prostitute is worse than a prostitute. Idiot. <laughs> Sell markets if you like. Go to your friend's place. That's your business. Mm -hmm. I'm going. Sell. Mm Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Oh my gosh. Only oh, Soya, what happened to you? The other time it was your leg. Today your head. What happened? What crime have you committed this time around? And aren't you supposed to be in school as we discussed? My mother has shattered my dreams of becoming a lawyer. What did she do? She collected my phone and transferred all my money, including the one that father gave me for processing admission. Oh. You have to put a call to your father to tell him what is going on. I can't. She said if I do that, that she would kill me and bury me in the compound. Ah, that Auntie Grace. Ah, she's so wicked. I mean, wickedness runs in her vein. Ah, uh ah. -uh. Now, wow. No problems. Let's go and treat you. Stand up, huh? Okay. 